It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Adnams Brewery in Southwold. And this is a bottle of their Ghost Ship 0.5% ABV. Zero alcohol beer. Uh, there's a look at it. 500ml bottle. There's the bottle cap. Is it going to want to focus? Let's get it in. Here we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Pulsing around there. Um, good old Panasonic. Um, <laughs> without further ado, let's get this bottle out into a glass. See what we get. Uh, nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. A uh, beer in the glass. <clears throat> I've actually had this on the rare occasion where I choose to drive the car. I went to a friend's birthday, drove the car, didn't drink that day, and um, I had a couple of these. And I can't quite remember, I think I think if I had another one, it, me it meant it was okay. It meant it was okay, but um, I'd rather do a detailed review and, uh, and you know, talk about this beer in, in detail with you. Um, we got a one finger white head, slightly hazy looking beer, slow moving carbonation. Um, it is dry January. Um, my our channel sponsor, Beers of Europe.co.uk. Um, check out the link in the description box of this video. They sent us some non alcoholic beers for January. Um, this is the fourth one, this is the last one we're doing. After the first one, we reviewed a French beer called Meteor Sans Alcohol. After that first one, I thought, I'm not going to get through all of these. <laughs> I'm going to struggle because it was terrible. It was horrible and sweet and, oh, dreadful beer. And then I reviewed the um, Estrella Galassia. And it was really good. It was really good. It was really kind of like drinking a lager. I'm really impressed by it. And then it went back downhill again. I had a, a super box, 0%. And that was the worst. It was dreadful. So I'm hoping we're going to finish on a high. I'm hoping it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, and maybe we're going back up again. So let's get the aroma on this ghost ship 0%, or 0.5%. It's really rather zesty and hoppy. It actually smells like ghost ship. Lemony, grapefruit, orange peel, flashy blood orange. Well, this one could be interesting. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Uh, good effort. Good effort, um, Adnams. Oh, it kind of, the, I'm being pulled here. I'm being pulled from from left to right. I'm being pulled from like, there's some there's some nice flavours in the in the mouthfeel, uh, in the flavour, in the taste. There's some nice flavours in the taste. There's also some some not very nice ones in the taste. It's just. I, I really find it a struggle to review non-alcoholic beer. I really do. Um, it would not be my choice of drink out of out of choice. I'm trying to be as open and as honest and as open-minded as I possibly can. But I just struggle. I just struggle. Um, the nice flavours. It's actually quite nice and hoppy. It's actually quite nice and hoppy. There's some grapefruit, orange peel, flashy blood orange. On that aspect, yeah, well done. Well done. It's drinkable. It's refreshing. There's a little bit of carbonation. Pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. Actually, the second taste is much better than the first. My palate has kind of acclimatised to, to what I'm drinking here. It's much better than the first. The first one, it kind of shot me over to like um, like a load of sweetness. It was like it was like ah, 
ah, this is way too sweet, way too sweet. And it's very difficult for these brewers to to really battle, kind of really fight against that sweetness. Um, alcohol is such an important ingredient in the beer. It's not an ingredient, it's, it, it's a by-process of the beer. It's, it's part of the process. It's not an actual ingredient. Um, but it makes such a difference. It makes such a difference to beer. It's quite dry. It's quite dry and slightly kind of... that carbonation the dryness that I struggle with and the the sweetness as well um it's a bit like the the, the couple, of, couple of tablets you put in a um you, you know like the aspirin tablets where they fizz in water it's like that kind of slightly odd flavor in that and it's it's almost unavoidable it's almost unavoidable what do Adnam say about this beer then um, not much, incidentally, just the ingredients which are water, malted barley, malted rye, hops and yeast. We had, some of you might remember, just about six weeks ago, we had Fergus on. We had Fergus on the channel from Adnams, the head brewer of Adnams. And we had a right good chat, we had a right good laugh. Um, Really enjoyed the Adams beer that night. I really did. And I've been putting some of you might be able to see the tally ho over there. I've been drinking some of the tally hoes I got left over and um, putting some in stews. And yeah, it's, it's been you know they're top people down at Adams. And 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 I I'm pretty sure Fergus and and anybody else who's watching down there at Adams Brewery, I'm pretty sure they could they can understand where I'm coming from in terms of non-alcoholic beer. They are kind of maybe I'm old school, maybe I'm too old now to be educated into into non-alcoholic beer. But I really like the feel of alcohol. I really like the the way alcohol makes you feel after drinking it. Yes, I mainly drink beer for the flavour and the friendship and meeting people and so forth. But also a really important part of beer for me is is the way you feel after you drink a pint or two. There's no getting away from it. Especially when you're in a beer garden, you finish work on a Friday afternoon and the sun's beating down on you and you've got a couple of pints and you start to feel a bit, Wee! you know the weekend started. You're never going to get that from this beer. You will never get that from this beer because it's just... Well, I, I always do my beer reviews in batches. I mentioned this in one of the other 0% beers that we just did. And I normally do four beer batches when I review beer. And this is the first time ever on the channel after after 11 years of reviewing beer on YouTube where I'm standing here and I'm not feeling anything. I'm not feeling anything. Apart from slightly refreshed. There's no feeling of, of, of I've had, I've reviewed my fourth beer there's no, there's no like, you know, there's no real happiness going on here. <laughs> I'm going to rate it. It's not a bad beer. Um, it's actually one of the better ones out of the four. Um, I like it, the, the fact that it's nice and citrusy and grapefruity. Um, they've made their very best effort. Um, I understand the people who, who um, you know, they, they want to follow this path of non-alcohol beer. But it just, it doesn't, it doesn't sell with me. It doesn't sell with me. Um, it's a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.